Legend of Total War here with part 48 of my Rome 2 Legendary Pontus campaign. Okay, so I just came back from just reading a few YouTube uh, YouTube comments. People are obviously complaining about um, how easy Rome 2 is or the fact that they bored watching me basically stomp the AI. If you're bored with it, why the fuck are you watching it? Just go somewhere else. I mean, I know I have been stomping the friggin' computers and all that kind of shit, but I don't know, this is on the hardest difficulty. I patch it as soon as the patches come out. M what more can I do in that regard? Um, and I do try and attack as fast as possible. If you know someone that's managed to get 69 regions uh, in 72 turns as Pontus, by all means, let me know, okay? Because I'll work harder towards it. That's how I make the games harder on myself, by blitzing, okay? Total War titles have always been fucking easy. Rome 1, Medieval 2, Empire, especially fucking Empire, um... Shogun 2, they can all be easily beaten if you turtle to some extent. Rome 2 is no different. It's blitzing that makes it hard. You just can't blitz this game as fast as you can with Medieval 2 or Empire or even Shogun 2. Uh, Shogun 2 largely due to the amount of regions. Re uh, there's only 65 regions in Shogun 2 vanilla. Um, but for example in Medieval 2, I finished the whole thing in 14 turns. You cannot do that in Rome 2. It's impossible. You can't get from one region, you can't get from one side of the map to the other in 14 turns. I would be surprised if this game could be done, as in conquer all regions, in 80 turns. I would be incredibly surprised on legendary difficulty. So, I think people need to take certain things into account. Yes, some of the battles are quite easy. CA does need to increase the difficulty of legendary, but I think people are also being quite unfair in some regards. Anyway... Back to this. We fight for you, uh, these guys here, Alexandria 2, is pretty much secure. It, it has a um, a wide border in that no armies from any of these cities would likely reach it. Uh, I don't really need... Okay, hang on. What's, what's going on here? Okay, so I've got an ammunition dump here. So I can upgrade these guys. And Creative Assembly, they'll make the game harder. I mean, Shogun 2 was bloody piss easy when it first came out. I remember fucking stomping that game when it first came out. And then coming back to it a year later, it was way harder. It'll They'll do the exact same thing with this as well. I think people have just need to just realise that. Anyway. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll march these guys closer towards... Over here, they should be able to march on their next turn from here. Ready for further orders. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd, I'll leave them in the region, though. Make haste, men. And actually, do you need to destroy this shit now? Uh, these guys have moved. Okay, now to check. On all my guys, see what they're up to. Uh, you don't need to be there anymore. Yep, you stay there. Yep, you're good there. Keep going. Uh, what are you doing? That's right, you're, you're fine just here. Stay... Port. Sorry, I can't make I him stay bought. Alright, well... Whatever, I'll just move him here then. Uh, this guy... Bring him closer to the edge here so that he can uh, fix up Libya once Alexandria is done. In regard to culture. So 39% growing quite quickly, that's good. Uh, this and this. Upgrade this. And this. And this. My words are yours today. Yes. Uh, disband this guy. Don't need him anymore. He's too far away from the action. How may I serve Pontos? 
Uh, if I got rid of this guy, it probably wouldn't equalize the uh, public order, so maybe it's best I leave it just one more turn. I mean, I really do need this guy fighting, especially if I want to try and conquer this game, get victory within 100 turns, um, which doesn't give me a whole lot of time. 28 more to go, and I've still got more than half. I'm not even halfway. Actually, I'm sitting just on halfway. Um, so I really need to sort of get a move on it. Let me see. If I was to destroy this army... No, I think one more turn. Just leave it alone for one more turn. We'll provide... Egyptus... with enough uh, public order... to uh, stabilize itself. Yeah. Okay, if that's the case, maybe I should upgrade this... to that. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so I'll deal with them next turn. Now then. Hang on, I wasn't finished with this. That's right, they're staying put. They're... Um, oh, these guys, right. Oh, I know. Now, there's a, there's a fleet here. Uh... Yeah, okay, so if I was to force march these guys to here, they'll be able to take Cyrene next turn. I'm going to exempt this region from taxation. It's not giving me that much money anyway, and I certainly don't need any more. Look at that, 39,000 now. Bloody, it's raining money. Uh... Hang on, I won't fix up this ridge, because what I'm going to do is raise a fleet. Let's see, who will I use? Use this guy, because he seems a bit shit. Because he may die. Reinstate this legacy here. And if I'm going to be... If this fleet attacks, then I'm fucked anyway. But it might not. What would be the best option? If it does attack, it's probably best I have Swordsman. Even though that's got the highest upkeep. Oh, may I serve Keep them garrisoned inside the the uh, the uh, city there. If this army attacks, which I doubt that it will. Um, well, maybe both will attack. Who knows? Maybe Egypt can give me a hand. Which, I, again, I doubt. Because this army's not damaged at all. It can it can at attack Cyrene and keep on moving. And then this army can retake it, if that is what ends up happening. Yep. Just need to make sure they've all moved. What's going on here? These guys are babysitting this army here. 12 men against 16. I don't think Mesopotamia needs to have the rebellion anymore. There's no more conquering. It is... How quickly is it Hellenizing? Reasonably quickly. Which means the culture penalty is going down. I think the building, the squalor is going down a little bit. Here. Um, also be getting some more bonuses because I need this army to be fighting you know I want to be I want to be expanding rapidly so I'm just thinking about how would I go about that yeah and I'd get public order bonuses by attacking getting rid of that um, army as well military presence is only giving four so that's fine I I think it's time to get rid of these... Ah, Seleucid Rebels. We don't want them coming back. It's better I order resolve this, to be honest, because against all those cavalry, my guys won't stand much of a chance. Alright, let's see. I'll try a protective stance. I'm probably going to lose a few battalions, though. Ah, oh, that was lucky. None. It's fine. Kill them. Nope. Ah, so we didn't actually move at all to do that. 
Uh We fight for you, my lord. Let's just see. Um At your command. Now I'll go finish them off. Hang on. Before I do that, might as well get some upgrades. That'll help a little bit. Finish them off. Should be easy. That, that'll give me the least amount of casualties, so I'll use that. Kill those Seleucid rebels. Taking a few casualties, but that's okay. Basically, this kind of army here, this kind of shit sort of build, is my auto-resolve army. Because in manual resolve, this kind of army would do terrible. Um, but auto-resolve, they don't do too badly. So, with them moving, it's still at minus 8, but I think it will very quickly, especially if I build this, very quickly um, stabilize. Because it's still got provincial instability, right? Yeah. Yeah, it'll stabilize. Okay. What's the slavery count here? It's zero, right? Yeah. Okay, good. And so... I'll, um, I can always get an edict there now, too. I'll, I'll check that out later. Uh, these guys on forced march. And send them to assist this army against Athens. I might just sit them in Tarsus, because that way they'll provide a public order bonus there. Slight bonus, but still, it stabilized the region. Now, where are my edicts? Oh, I should be issuing an edict, uh, actually. I was thinking of maybe putting back the conscription edict here in order to speed up my army recruitment, but considering a lot of my regions now have public order problems, it might be best for me to reconsider. This here has an edict. It certainly doesn't need it. Give it to Mesopotamia. Uh, six, pub uh, six public order because of this one here, so that's good. I'll leave that alone. Because I think if I switch that over to this, it doesn't give that extra two public order for um, the edict, so I'll leave it for the time being. Um, there are certainly other regions that are problematic. Even with that edict, Seleucia is still going to have a problem. Uh, because it's at minus 9. So it'll go down to minus 3. No, it'll stabilize after at least one or two turns, so that'll be fine. Uh, this is stable. This army here, I'm building another shit army. For auto-resolve purposes. Uh, when does the next... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Imperium, probably in about eight regions, so I'll be able to hire some new generals and build them up in Pontus, because I don't want multiple recruitment centers, because of all the public order problems that they pre present, and also because that one's so good, because I've heavily built it up. Wish these guys would just fuck off, bloody Egypt. Either take it or, or don't. I just sit there. Uh, okay, Persis seems to be quite stable, so I'll tax it again. Forty thousand a turn. Might be quicker for me to get economic victory, um, rather than military. Let's see. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, get that. Because I'm not in any desperate need for food. This can be destroyed. That can be upgraded at what's that? Ekbatana, Ekbatana, whatever it's pronounced. Uh, could put an edict here, but it'll actually be fine because it's got a problem due to conquest for the next turn. But apart from that, it's fine. Uh, Check my regions which aren't being taxed. Libya, yeah, for good reason. Arabia, 
Yes, I know. Carmania. Yes, of course. That shouldn't be taxed. Uh, and that's it. So that's fine. Egypt isn't worth much money, which is weird because I've ho I've got the whole province. All oh, right, yeah, because this hasn't been built up at all. That's that's a huge amount of income that that's supposed to provide. Uh, let's see. How stable will Nicomedia be once, uh, well, Bithynia et Pontus once this is all over? Provincial instability is at minus eight. The squalor is still really bad. What do I need to do to fix this up? I need to build this up to that. That'll provide public order. And I'll switch this over for public order. Hang on, trapezos here. No, I'll leave that and fix this up with Sacred Grove. Yeah. That should sort it out for a little while. Um, this region's quite, quite good. I only have half of it, though. I need to take on the Macedonians eventually for that. Uh, now I'll destroy that and build a farm. I'll leave that go for a little while longer, because all I need to do is build this when that gets to seven, and then that's it. Then I'll get rid of it. Uh, this region's not got any sort of public order problems, so no point in building that up. At Tur. That'll give a lot of extra money. Public order, no problems. So why not? It's worth it to build that. And build a library, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, what else? Still got plenty of money. Bells. What's the uh, culture? It's getting there. I'll be able to convert this soon. I'll start converting this though. And that? No, that's... That's the same as... Uh, the shrine of... Um, what's it called? Poseidon. Except Poseidon will give six food instead of four. Yeah, go ahead. Huh, I think I'm running out of stuff to build. No, this one I'll build... What's the public order here? This place here could use an edict, I think. So, let's see. i got to find where there's already an edict going on that doesn't need it. There's four edicts. Where is it? It should show me here where the edicts are. I'll just cycle through it. Syria doesn't have an edict. Bithynia doesn't have an edict. Ponto Caspia no edict. Galatea no edict. Asia no edict. Mesopotamia there's an edict there. Needs it there. Uh, this one Nabatea that's where I want an e a um, edict, but don't have one there. Egypt doesn't. Dacia doesn't have one. Cilicia does have it, but also needs it. Uh, so that's two accounted for. Caucasia. No edict. Doesn't need it anyway. Persia. Has an edict and needs it. Scythia. That's three accounted for. Bosphorus. Media Magna. Pannonia. There it is. Doesn't need it here. There we go, and take them back to Nabatea. Issue the edict. There we go. Okay, now I've just got 9,000 more to spend. Might as well do a Petra. Get myself some more money. Because that's being built up as well, that'll help. But it'll, that'll also provide public order penalties. 
Um, oh well, can't really be helped. It's needed. Switch that over just because I can. Uh, also, it should be growing in regard to my culture. Yeah, that'll help. Adamatu. Oh, it's almost stabilized. Is there anything I can do to stabilize it any further? No. Apart from reduce the culture penalties. Oh, provincial instability. It will stabilize eventually. That's good. That's very good. It's a bit of a shit region. Not providing me with any money, just causing me problems. Adamatu. But, me holding it is better than an enemy holding it. Look, I've only got a thousand left, and I'm wasting so much time looking for somewhere to spend it on. Just end the fucking turn. Ah, uh, I forgot to do something with this guy. Doesn't matter. As all the gods look you cancelled the fucking non-aggression pact just a couple of turns ago. Go fuck yourself, you indecisive prick. Anyway, I've got my eyes set on Hellas and Macedonia for the next war set of wars. Now that the Seleucid Empire has been pretty much destroyed and all of its satrapies are scattered, I need to think about new wars. Parthia didn't make any counterattacks. A treaty between our people. No. That's it. You better run. Come on! Don't fucking sabotage my army. Oh, they killed my general. I don't really care as long as I can move out. Oh, they're coming back, are they? Indecisive pricks. Ah, oh, so they're going to make that attack. Well. Auto resolve is in my favor. Let's have a look. I'm going to go with this. Fantastic. Straight to bloody five ranks. Good. Get rid of them. That was a good move. Let's see if these guys are going to come. Come on. Don't. Stay where you are. What are they doing? Fuck's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Fucking loser. really need to get rid of Sargasha. They were probably the strongest of um, the Seleucid Empire satrapies. Yeah, whatever. Natural causes, he died. Where was he? Oh, he, he was... It was old as fuck, that guy. I got him. That was like the first hero I ever got. He was really bloody old. Uh, that's good. Returned home. Lots of them returned home. Yep. Construction. Manipulation attempt. Failed. Good. Blah, blah, blah. Military subversion attempt. Good. Unhappy, unhappy. Kiss my ass. You guys are part of my empire. You just have to deal with it. Blah, 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 blah. Enemy wounded. Natural causes. Well, what happened to the guy up here? And why don't I have a notification for it? Or did I just sort of skip through it? By sea or by mountain. Well, what happened here? This guy seems fine. I thought he got assassinated. No, he's fine. Well, that's good. This army here is pretty big. And Bells is pretty fucking shit. Oh, it's got four lots of mob. That's probably... Uh, that's gonna suck. If they attack... Oh, but I need to take the bloody capital, even if they do end up... Oh, hang on, hang on, what I'll do... By sea or by Can I manipulate them? 82% by undermining the authority. Oh well, give it a shot. It's my best chance of holding them back. One in five chance to fail. 
You fucking prick! I have failed. Come on, tell me I've got someone nearby that I can use. Nope. This is an honor indeed. Fucking prick. Oh well. 82% chance and you still fail me. Oh well. Uh... Anyway, time to take their capital. Maybe they'll make their way back here anyway. They probably won't though. This clearly needs to be fought manually. Oh man, they are starving the fuck out. Oh well. Time to kill them. Put them out of their misery. Okay. Smash down the walls where? Needs to be from a good point in which I can attack from. I guess I started at a good enough point. Knock down these walls here. And then I'll just send my cavalry in to smash them because barbarians absolutely suck. Come on, hurry up. There we go. These, these walls are a lot lower than the, um, the, uh, the sort of Greek settlement, um, cities. Doesn't seem to make any difference. They're more accurate against the smaller walls. The walls are it's one section down. Can we get another? Let's see. I don't think this does anything. Always seems to be 5% for every hit that's made. The walls are breached! They're all in such bad shape, these guys. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Good, time to march on in. Oh, I think I just zoned out there for a second. I've done this so many times, it's just like, what new commentary can I provide? I'm just going to steamroll them. The battle is turning in our favor. Just sitting there watching them kill, thinking, oh wait, I'm supposed to say something. There I go, fucking horse sandwich, motherfuckers. What I'd like to do is push through a little bit, then coming back and attack. Because what my guys, what cavalry is, their primary objective is to always disrupt their formations. And, and that's what they do very well if you do things this way. 
I mean, otherwise what they do is they bunch up and attack only the front line, and it does seem to drag out a lot longer. And you can't just push through. And that's what they did historically. I mean, they didn't just sit there and let the first line at, at, of cavalry attack. That's why cavalry was so effective with, you know, Parthia, you know, able to beat Rome so many times and shit like that. They didn't just sit there in formation. They're, they're, these guys are formation disruptors. What the fuck? Are my guys falling off the fucking thing there? Holy fucking shit. They didn't historically do that, I'll tell you that much. Fucking morons. You know, I sit here and I try to defend Creative Assembly's bloody programming, but sometimes they make it so fucking hard for me to do that. My lord. When, when I see something like that, these stupid fucking horses jumping over the edges of a wall. You know, I don't don't mean to suck up the Creative Assembly, I just know how hard it is to program a game, because I've done basic shit like that at university. And I think it's amazing that I've even managed to make this ga game in the first place, uh, the Total War series. But, ugh, they make it hard for me to, to be a suck up sometimes. They really do. Anyway... That's dealt with. Um, however, I probably have to go back here to deal with. Oh, of course, this guy's in the army. Get him to do that. Provide public order bonuses. Even conquering this region gives me that much bonuses. How the hell is that happening? Because it's only minus four. Now, with that, I can't make it all the way back to Bells. Because if this army attacks, which is, let's face it, it's going to attack. So I might as well just cancel all this shit. Yep. Even though it does seem somewhat diminished. What's this? Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to send these guys back to reconquer them. Alright. I need to be not in bells. I need to be in... Budorgis, right here. At your command. Ready for further Good, orders. I'll still recover my troops. That'll be fine. The amount of uh, public order penalties is not really a concern at all. Why is that? Because that's providing plus four public order. That yeah, could be a lot better than that. Make it ten. And how are we going with... Yep, that's coming along. This can go away, even though it's providing money. This is super shit. That can be converted to... Uh, Temple of Poseidon. Uh, what's the fourth level of Temple of Poseidon? I don't actually know. Never looked at it. Come on, you got two more seconds. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Uh, four... Ah, oh, shit. That's for Athens, Epirus, Macedon. Come on. Pontus. Temple of Poseidon level 4 provides 9 food, 2 public order. Eh, big fucking deal. Still, this is a region that doesn't seem to have any public order problems, so... Why not? That'll fix that up with, in regard to public order as well. Um, okay, so that's that. Oh, they're not quite dealt with. When I retake Bell's next turn, then they'll be dealt with. Regions being taxed, isn't it? Yep. Okay. What's next to kill? I see. Or my Can they make it here? No. March. These guys can. Can it be either or? Yes, it can. Huh. How can I go about killing both Hecatop, uh, Hecatompilos and Zadricata this turn? Can I hire any new generals? No. How far off am I from getting next to Perium? Probably not this turn. Yeah. Let's see. These guys are still recruiting. Waiting for... Oh man, 
even with this guy gone, they're not going to be able to make it there in one turn. Fuck, piece of shit. Um, and even if they do, they're not going to be able to win. Unless... No, they're not starving. Um, okay, well, here's something I can do. I can take down um, the uh, Sargassians over here. This area is... Okay. These guys may either take Frada or Alexandria uh, number two. But... I don't know. Whatever. Just keep on expanding as fast as I can, really. I'll eventually get them all. This does need to be done manually, of course. Yep, alright, just get straight into it. Okay then. Let's see. I'll have to use my uh, artillery first because I'm up against elephants and I don't want to sacrifice my cavalry because they need to keep marching against the hordes of enemies that we have in, here in the east and disrupt them as best I can. See, that's apparently what the eastern accent is there, and yet when you click these guys... Hang on, and I... Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. If you move them... Sounds like a Roman. Alright, so where's their elephants? Missiles. Probably not coming. These guys have extra ammo, don't they? Yes, they do. Sling them. At your service. Orders understood. Our aim is true. Ballista. Alright. Aim for the spearmen there. Right. Maybe I should be aiming for the pikemen. Although the pikemen are a bit diminished. You want to aim for a big fat target. Where are their fucking elephants? There they are. Speaking of big fat fucking targets. This guy here hump on the back end of the... Or the back of the head of the um, elephants over here. He's been being rude. Or are they going to miss? I didn't see where those shots were going. No, they're going to hit them. Right? They're aiming yet for the elephants. Thorax swordsman, why aren't you guys shooting? Should be well within range. I want to see a shot hit it right in the fucking temple. That hit that right in the fucking temple did nothing. Maybe it's just because they've got so many hit points. Huff, <laughs> right in the face. I don't condone killing elephants in real life, but in a game, go for it. is turning in our favor. Of course it is. It's always turning in our favor. Every fucking time. Actually, no. I've lost a couple of battles. Battles I didn't stand a chance in, that is. Actually, I think there's been a couple of battles in which I could have won, but I just fucked up. It's really embarrassing to lose a battle, though, if you should have fucking won it, and then ended up losing badly. Those ones. You never want to have those. But after playing Total War for like 10 years or whatever, you generally don't make those stupid mistakes anymore because all the games are essentially the same. 
once you've played it for a bit, you get the hang of it, you know what the ins and outs are. Good, keep smashing up the elephants. Ah, oh, they're gone. Good. wonder if it's even possible to, like, shoot down the birds. Yeah, shoot them over here. This big blob over there. Oh, I've only got a couple of shots left. Still, you, they're in range. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, you missed. I could probably send my cavalry in now to finish them all off. Might as well do that. Without the elephants, they don't stand a chance. So I'll get you guys to stand back now. Actually, I'll get a bunch of you to come round this side. Rather than my guys just blobbing around as well. Because it's very lightly defended here, so that's not much to worry about. But it's at the uh, the victory point that I'd like to use some bit better tactics than what I'm than what I usually do. Not that it usually makes any difference. Okay, you guys ready? Strike those pikemen before they get into phalanx. Oh, what's this? There, there. They weren't in phalanx, though. How could they have been hidden from you right up until that moment? I don't understand that. No, I've got on too fast. Can't hear anything. There we go. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Don't be such a winger. It's always good to charge at them first if they're coming close to you, because as you can see, I just bowl them over. Fucking hill, man. I think this is over. There we go. Moving on to something else. Most of those casualties would have been in the um, slingers. So that's good. Because slingers don't really matter. Alright, that's good. I'm pretty sure Sargasha only have one last region left. Now, you guys, can you make it to... Uh, Eucratidia next turn? Yes, they can. They can't make it to Bactria, though. As long as I can make it there. Of course, I could force March out a little bit further. I'm probably going to lose this to this guy. Now let me just try a little little gauge. Okay. How much movement is required? Yeah, that would be able to... See that blue line? It's hard to see. Um, that's how far I'd expect that they'd be able to move. So they should be in range to attack that city. Now, this city here is completely built up with its troops. If they attacked, they'd lose. I'd be able to defend against that. Because it's walled. Whereas... Yeah, no, Kispin is fine. Frada is... Doesn't have its uh, men ready. I don't understand how they're all ready to go. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to complain about that. They, I don't think I can lose this settlement to them. Alright. Get that. And that. Royal Barracks causing minus 10 food and not giving me any benefits. Fuck off. Well, hang on. How much would it cost me? I can't actually switch it over. But that, I could get Levy Pikeman Mercenary Camp. Huh. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Just destroy it. Leave that be for now. How the public public order isn't very good. should probably stop taxing it. Okay, now, you could definitely make it here next turn, can't you? Not by much, but you can make it. So, I'm going to trust you. 
to make it there next turn, or is it very much going to piss me off? That'll give extra 3% uh, replenishment, and also less upkeep. Saved me about 90 talents a turn. Who gives a shit? Um, maybe I should have put Peacekeeper. Too late now. Um, Alright, I want one more battle before I turn the video off. Uh, I know, since I've already attacked Sargasha, let's finish them off. That should be their last region. This is the, this is the capital here. Should be quite within range. Let's finish them off. Now, just hold on one moment. Before I make this attack, there's some things I need to consider. Now, I should have hired some units with this guy. Um, if I attack the settlement, that puts these guys as a government in exile, and they'll start attacking the closest city, which is uh, Paratonion, whatever, however it's fucking pronounced. These guys, if they attacked, they would beat me, I reckon. However, it's already got all of its garrison. I think it gets its garrison if I destroy a building. So I reckon if they attacked me, even with auto resolve, I'd win. So, nothing to worry about then. Okay, with nothing to worry about, make my attack. What am I up against? Sweet fuck all. Time to move on. Yep, nice and dry, that's what I like. Let's see. Not from this angle. I fought this kind of battle, um, this kind of city so many times. We'll barge through here. Break through there, I mean. Ballista! No problem, let's break it down. Starting from... Okay, there's some men up on the wall here. Might be good to shoot them down. What are they doing? The silly fucking bastards. Eastern Slingers. Dancing around like idiots. What are you guys doing? Bloody dicking around. Oh, you way overshot that one. Come on. If they're all at the front here, they're going to fall over when this thing crumbles. Fine by me. Ha, take that, you piece of shit. Come on, hurry up and knock it down. Almost there, two more shots. I really don't think this does anything, precision shot. Fuck, they all just bloody smashed. Let's see if we can break this one, which I doubt.
That looks like two sections of wall that got broken there. So that's not too bad. Let's see if we can break another one. Nah, it's not going to happen. Alright, it's time to move on in. General is under attack. I'd be fine. A gate a gatehouse with oil doesn't do anything if you break down the walls. Returns! Barge on through. Come on, push them through. Oh, they almost broke it down. has used all its ammunition. 99%. Fucking one more shot would have destroyed it. Ah, oh, crap. I'm getting boiling oiled. Because my guys are stupid, of course. Oh, there's not that many that got oiled. The battle is turning in our favor. You know, I haven't really made much use of the boiling oil technology that I've researched. Come on, you guys need to get inside. So I'll disengage them a little bit, and then come back. The casualties that I've taken is not a big deal. Okay, with the enemy general dead, we should get some enemies breaking pretty quickly. Alright, let's move on. Forget about the rest of them, they'll break. That's the way. I can smash these pricks. Good, and then smash these pricks. And then this one. Smash all the fucking pricks. Oh, already victory. Didn't expect that so soon, but I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. Occupy that shit. Alright, so... Obviously, if I destroy this, um, then I'll get garrison from them. Uh, I'll fill up the garrison from this. Not that that should really matter. Um, yeah, I'll do that anyway, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's the end of the video, so I'll leave it for next, until next time. Okay, so before I end the video, I just want to rehash on people sending me complaints about the game being too easy on uh, YouTube in comments. If you have a complaint about the game being easy, send it to fucking Creative Assembly. Don't send it to me. I'm not a fucking programmer. All I do is play the damn game. So don't send it to me. I don't give a shit. I'm not going to play your mod. I'm not going to play your recommended mod or anything like that. If I'm going to play something, I'm going to post it on my Facebook page and then we can discuss it there. So don't send your comments 
in those regards on YouTube because I'm just not going to read them from now on because they bore the fuck out of me. I've read so many of them, I just don't care. If you've got any complaints about how I play, however, by all means, go ahead. Unless it's something that's been said a hundred thousand times, in which case I'm going to get pissed off, naturally. Okay? Sometimes I do so unfairly, just deal with it. I have a short temper. I think you all realize that by fucking now. Anyway, uh, things are going pretty well with this campaign, I think. I'm sitting on 72 regions now, nearly at the next level of Imperium. Then the max level, still uh, uh, turn number 73. It's a massive expansion going on now. And I'm about to conquer the entire uh, Parthian Empire shortly. Oh, these guys still have to move as well. Anyway, like and subscribe, part, uh, I think it's 49 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. I'll see you next time.